Hello my friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to create or restructure our project with the necessary folder, right? So like I said, we are going to use what is called MBC pattern for this project. Okay, so the next folder I'm going to create will be the model. Okay, this model is going to have our data structure, how we are going to model our data. Okay, so for right now, the data we are going to manage in our application is only to do okay so you don't have much code here and the next folder will be the what is called controller okay controller is a folder where you are going to have all our business logic inside our application and the last one will be the route okay it will be the route here and then this route is going to have the all the endpoints we can access inside our application but for now let's create our model first so here a model is going to be um, a class okay we are going to create an instance of this class so the js so we have to name it as uppercase like that okay so let's head over to let's bring in the mongoose um, that we bring we, we installed so we're going to model our data using mongoose so let's bring in mongoose const mongoose you go to mongoose like that and then and then on that let's create our schema called to do schema this schema means that how we are going to structure our application to have some validation okay so all the properties we need must be the schema okay so let's take a to do for example what do we need we only need the um title and a description okay so this is called schema so new equal to mongoose.schema and it's a function but for this function the first one will be the object okay and then we can open it and then the first one will be a title okay because we need a title of to do so this title also have a configuration the type okay so the type of this one is going to be a string not a number all right so if you head over to mongoose um on, on models we have all these types we have a number boolean nar and whatever so we need what is called string for now and you want to make sure that a user type in the title before you can proceed otherwise you're going to throw an error so if you do this one, it means that we are going to state that this is a required field. And if the user refuses to pass in the title, Mongoose will throw an error. Okay. So we can pass it as true, but I want to have my own custom error handling like a uh, um, response. So I'll make it um, please title is required. Okay. And the next last one will be the description of the to do okay and also the type will be a string okay and it's also required for this true so please description is also required and the last configuration is going to pass another object okay because you want to know when this to do is created so I want to pass in additional configuration calls timestamp and it's to be true okay so with this mongodb mongoose will automatically create a date when this to do was created so the last part is that we need to compile okay let me call this one compile so here let's create a const to do is equal to um, mongoose dot model dot model and we pass in the value the name so this one in our mobile db it will be have this to do but to be in lower case the last one will be the to do schema we pass in as a second parameter to that so the what you need is i have to export this so module dot export is equal to to do as that 
Okay, so now we have an instance of our class, our class um, object. Let me call this one in the class of to do. And we can create an instance of this class inside our application. Okay, so anything that we're going to, any to do, I'm going to create, I'm going to follow this pattern, this structure, title and description. All right, so in the next video, we are going to create our controller and then start creating the first to do. Thanks for watching.